Hi everyone, in this lesson we'll learn how to create a swept feature. So typically a sweep feature requires a path and a profile sketch. So let's open our exercise file. As you can see in our timeline, we have two sketches, a path and a profile. So going to create sweep and let's first discover single path now we're prompted for a profile let's zoom in left click to select this one so now it is selected and for the path left click zooming out let's select this as our path Hit OK. So now we have a swept profile. Again, going back to our timeline, double click to edit feature. Let's go to the other type, which is path and guide rail. I'm going to deselect everything. So for our profile, let's select this one, left click. For our path, left click to activate and select this one as our path. And for our guide rail, let's select this spline. So as you can see, this is the end result of the sweep feature under the type of path plus guide rail. Like revolve and sweep, Loft also requires closed profile sketches. So before grabbing the tool, first let's create a sketch. I'm going to create a circle. Center diameter circle. Create it on the XZ plane. Left click. Let's say 50 millimeters. Pressing enter. Going to stop sketch. I'm going to go to construct. Going to isometric view. Zooming out. I'm going to select our XZ plane. I'm going to grab this arrow and key in a value of 100 millimeters. Pressing answer. Double click middle mouse to zoom extends. Let's create a sketch on our new plane. Left click to select, right click to create a new sketch. So going to sketch, let's select circumscribe polygon. I'm going to pan. Select the origin as our center point and slowly drag. Let's key in a value of 35 millimeters. Pressing tab. Let's make our polygon having three sides, meaning it's a triangle. I'm going to press enter. Going to stop sketch. Zooming out. Going to create and selecting loft. For our first profile, let's select our triangle. And then for the second one is our circle. So notice the transition between the two geometries. So that is loft feature. We can also add in some additional rails and guide type or make it a closed entity. But basically the loft creates a smooth transition between two different varying entities. So for our example, it was a triangle going into a circle. I'm going to press OK. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Sweep and Loft. In the next lesson, we will discover how to create a rib and a web.